Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Miss Faye and this is my world. Okay, we're going to talk about uh, the narcissist and what he really wants from you. The narcissist really wants your soul. Your very essence. He 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 wants to he wants it all. So in the process now he's here in the 3D to destroy everything everything around you. Your physical, your financial, emotional, just to break you down in the 3D. But then in the other dimension, there's your soul. You see? And if the narcissist has chipped away and chipped away, chipped away with you here. You probably have lost yourself somewhere along the way. You see, because the narcissist, because he is or she is controlled by an evil entity. This entity knows how to get right at your soul because now this entity is energy is you know we are body soul and spirit the energy okay the thing about it is this is a this is a lot to take in when you're just trying to love somebody it's a lot to take in uh, number one it's a real eye-opener to find out that maybe the love of your life could be possessed by an evil spirit. And if that person is a narcissist, that's exactly what has happened. So for you, because you know that this entity is really wanting your soul and is going to do everything to get it. Number one, they sexualize you. The demon knows that once he has sex with you, then you kind of you're bonded to him. You're, you're bonded to the narcissist. You're bonded, and it's gonna it's gonna take some work to get untied from him. Now, this entity knows that if you don't know this. You don't know. You go into a relationship looking for love. And, and I'm going to tell you, the reason I have these talks with you ladies is because, because, you know, we all want to find, to find love. Not realizing that love is within you. It's not out there. It's within you. And <laughs> once you understand that rationale, come to that realization, then you won't be looking for love outside of you. Once you love yourself, it's not an issue. You don't need anything outside of you to give you love. Now, if you're with the narcissist, you're not getting love anyway. Not unless you're in the love bombing stage. And and that's that's another thing, ladies. If you meet someone, and you know, like what we see on TV, you know, he's sending you a million roses and candy and all, and you just met this dude. That that's what we call love bombing. And uh, the man you meet, if he's a narcissist, he'll do it on his level. I mean, you know, whatever he can afford, he'll do it. But it's it's the same thing. It's the, it's the same thing. And you need to recognize that. Because if somebody love bombs you, you need to back up a minute and take a look, good look at this person because this person very well could be a narcissist. You see? And, and narcissists know exactly what, what you want. And they're there to provide it. Just, just to get you on the hook. Just to hook you in. And, and what they have to get you on the hook can really hook you in, believe me. 
it can really hook you in. And you'll be living in sort of a, a an illusion. I know the clinicians call it a false reality. And this is something that the narcissist kind of provides for you to live in. You see, if you step outside of that reality, then there's an, there's an issue. That's why the narcissist must have control over you to make sure that you stay within the realms of the illusion. You see, where the narcissist is king and you are there to serve the narcissist. And when he's done with you, he'll have your soul all wrapped up and then and and the rest of you we just toss that away this is a mission of the narcissist to take your very soul that's right that's why you have to be so careful because these narcissists are everywhere everywhere and you know, uh, this came to mind uh, because I was I was raised in a church, and just thinking about what goes on what goes on there, the narcissists just have an open feel, an open field day of uh, supply, and you know because think about it, all those emotions, and that's what the narcissist feeds on. And then he can turn their minds in a way because the narcissist always has a way of twisting the truth to suit himself. So whatever his agenda is, he can twist the truth where he comes out making sense on top. Okay. Uh, and you want to tell people, you know, something nice that you did with the narcissist or whatever, whatever. And uh, while he is going behind your back, telling people what an awful person you are. Just smearing your name for no reason. That's right. So the next time that you're in company with these people, notice if they looking at you a little funny or acting a little funny or a little strange or whatever. If they are, it's because the narcissist has betrayed your trust. He's gone back and told them all kinds of tales about you. I keep looking in here. I think, I think I'm having a little problem with my glasses today. So please excuse that. <laughs> but, but anyway, just be aware. Uh, it happened to me, you know, with, when I was with uh, my narcissist, you know, because I was really trying to, to make it work. I really was trying. You know, I, I said that this relationship, I'm going to put my all in it to make it work. <laughs> the, the, then that's when I met the narcissist. <laughs> when, when, when I decided that I was going to put my all in it, I was going to stop playing games with people and all of that. I was going to be true. That's when I met the narcissist. See, the universe knows when to bring these things to you. I always talk about that, and I want to address that when I use uh, the word universe. You see, we all have language that we use to address a higher power. I use the universe. To me, that's the higher power. And you may use God, some of the other religions that use whoever they use, you see, but if the energy and the spirit is good, going for good, going for the good of humanity, doesn't matter what the word is. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We're all trying to ascend. If it's for good, we're all trying to ascend. Okay? So... But the narcissist is, is trying to uh, stop your ascension. You see, that's why they're chipping away at you and making you feel terrible and betraying you and all that. 
And I'll tell you why the narcissist is smearing your name. Because he knows that he's going to discard you. He, he knows that he's going to discard you. Now, I heard uh, someone say that the narcissist discard figures that he would discard you before you catch on and discard him. Because he, he has a fear of abandonment. Now, you know, a clinician, I have to verify that because I, I, I did hear that. But I do know that they, they will discard you, whether it's physically or emotionally. So that you can count on. You can count on that happening. Now, the, the, the narcissist, this is why it's so important to recognize the narcissist in the beginning of your relationship way before way before you have any sexual encounter with him you need to spot him right away because from day one he's starting to work on you you know with the love bombing that's all to to kept to get you to capture you he's been this spirit has been doing this for ages and ages and ages so don't think that Oh, he's not going to, yeah, he can get you. He knows exactly what to say to you and whatever. And this spirit is very cunning and intelligent. So <laughs> the spirit knows who to approach. And it's usually those who are lacking in some self-esteem and some, you know, your, your self-worth, you know, you've been devalued or somewhere you know, been kind of beat down. And the spirit here, here he comes. Now, now this narcissist comes and treats you like a queen. You know, all of a sudden you come alive again. You, you, you come alive again. You, you see what the spirit did? They chose somebody who felt kind of low, kind of beat down. Not, no confidence really in yourself. Now here comes this Prince Charming, doing for you everything you ever wanted, ever wanted. That's how the narcissist gets you in the love bombing stage. And he is so thorough in that love bombing stage. So when he starts, because he, he's dropping some seeds along the way to control you but you don't notice because the love bombing is so that is so bright is you can't see you know you can't see what's really going on so now now he he's got you the love bombing is over he he's got you now all right now in in this stage He may already be talking about you all either living together or getting married. They like to work quickly. I can tell you that. They like to work fast and lock you down. Now, see, this is, a, this is one difference. Uh, usually, men drag their feet about getting married. Usually men drag their feet about getting married, you know. Uh, but I found the narcissists don't. They don't. You see, if you if you meet somebody and they talking about marriage in, in a couple of months, you just know in a couple of months, that might be a narcissist. They believe in locking that, locking you down tight. Then they'll look into all of your finances and don't be don't don't live in a state where he can take everything if the marriage break up don't don't live in that kind of state now you need you you want to live in a state to where whatever you had going into marriage is still yours when you come out 
you know, it, it's the same thing. Like if um, if your your pastor happens to be a narcissist, I mean, um, can you can you really can you really trust trust him? Can you really trust what he's saying to you? I, I'm only I'm only mentioning these things so that you could be aware, so that you can open up your eyes, and don't be deceived, and don't be deceived, because a lot of uh, information out here, because so many narcissists are in control of the information, they've tweaked it to suit the narcissist and not you. Is really to take advantage of you. So, um, the narcissists, you cannot trust them. They're out to get your soul. To get your soul. And um, see, the spiritual narcissists, they really just got the hand on the pulse. They got their hand on the pulse. A lot of the spiritual narcissists out here, uh, telling the people that they are worshiping a God when they're actually worshiping money. His message is all about money. All about money. And he needs more and more and more of your money. And then he'll issue some fear in that and fear in that so that you will believe his message. You see? And that's how he leads people down a dark path. That's why you, you can't trust him because you, you, your soul is involved in that. Your soul is involved in that. And even if you're living with the narcissist, the narcissist has a way of affecting you uh, to do things that you would not ordinarily do. Because you'll find yourself wanting to please the narcissist. You want to please the narcissist. So now you're doing things that you would not ordinarily do. So you're doing things outside of yourself, outside of your true self, who you really are. You follow me? You're doing something outside of yourself to please the narcissist. Now, I'll, I'll give you a for, for instance. A for instance. Now, suppose suppose the narcissist says, um, let's have an open relationship. There's, a, there's one. The narcissist may say that. And uh, he convinces you to say, yeah, oh, okay. Now, what does, what does that really mean? It can, you can you can see right away where it's going to benefit the narcissist, but where are you benefiting from that? But you have agreed. You have already agreed with that evil energy to allow for both of you if you want to, but it's mostly for him, so that he can go out or her go out to whoever they want to, and you can't say anything about it. That, that's what open means. That he's still coming home sleeping with you. But he's sleeping with whoever he wants to too. Without you even having anything to say about it. That's what I mean. The narcissist will have you doing things outside of yourself. He'll have you, he'll have you looking differently. Until when you look in the mirror, you don't recognize yourself. I'm telling you, you'll do all sorts of things to please the narcissist, you know. He may want long hair. He may, you know what I'm saying? He may want all, he may want, you know, your hair color different. He may want you to have those eyelashes and, you know, all made up. If you do it. If you do it. And I'm going to tell you something. 
I did it. Yeah, I did. That was way outside myself. That was way, way, way outside myself. With the nails and the whole, the whole nine yard. I looked in the mirror. I didn't even know who that was. Didn't know who that was. This is how the narcissist gets you. Gets your very soul. And see, when he discards you, that's why you feel empty. Because the puppet master has left the room. You have given him full control of you. You understand? You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. You will not do that. Because wherever that evil spirit is going, he going to have your soul right in his back pocket. If you're not careful. Because after the narcissist. Think about this. After the narcissist. Leaves you. You're going to feel hurt. You're going to be bitter. You're going to be disgusted. You know. You're probably going to go around. Crying to everybody about it or whatever. And it just keeps that. That negative energy going. 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 He knows that. Going, 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 going. Knowing that you're still tied to him. That's why it'd be a, it will affect you that way. Because you're still so tied. The soul now, so tied to the narcissist. You see? You, you want it to be over, but you don't know how. You don't know how. Because you're full of his negative energy. It's in you. You have to break free of that and heal. From that, from that torture, that torment. That's what it was. Trauma. Abusive trauma that you suffered at the hands of the narcissist. You can't, you can't trust, you cannot trust them. Don't trust them. Don't. I know mine. After he did so many things to me, he looked me in my eye and said, What? You don't trust me? Say no, 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 I don't. And he just looked shocked. He just looked shocked. They lie about everything. Everything. Until after a while, you'll be uh, doubting yourself. You'll be doubting whether, you know, you said, what you, you, you remind them of something that they said. That it was some a little something wrong with it or whatever. And they're the not saying it, period. After a while, you'll be wondering, well, did I imagine that they said that? Did they really? You know, things like that. He, They will lie, lie, lie. Never. They will never tell you the truth. Never. And this all, this all, affects you whether you realize it or not that is is just sucking the life out of you that he's stealing your soul too and that's what you don't want to happen you must heal from narcissistic abuse if you have been with the narcissist for any length of time you have been abused if you've had sex with the narcissist you need to heal from that too. So you're no longer tied to the narcissist. See, this, this relationship is unlike any other relationship you possibly have ever had. And it's probably one of the most devastating relationships that you have ever had. But you can you can heal from it. You can heal from it. And I I'll, I'll remember to put the link in the bottom where how to heal. You can you can heal from the narcissist. Don't don't let these evil spirits take your soul. And I say spirits because this is a Jezebel spirit, but there are other demonic energies out here. And once you take that but spirit on, well, the others, you know, they may have other things for you to do. They may just join in and have you doing other things. And um See, uh, 
one way that the narcissist gets so many people today abort is through the finances, through the finances, because um, people are made to feel that you got to do whatever you need to do to get your bills, to be able to pay your bills and things like that. And it's, it's a lot of pressure on people. So then people find themselves, you know, that little demon is in your ear telling you things you can do to get this money. That's what I say. This spirit is everywhere and you really got to be alert and aware of it. Of it. And if you you know, if you are stuck with the narcissist, try to avoid uh, and limit your emotional responses to him or her. That's one way to kind of back away because remember, that's what they feed on, your emotional responses. So a lot of times they want they want to try to make you angry and get in a big fight and if you can flare up and get crazy, they loving that. And watch out where um you have a gathering or something and then they try to get you to blow up right at the gathering in front of other people. So because he's already prepped them and smeared your name with them to make them you know, he's already told them that you're a little bit crazy or whatever. So when you snap off, then he'll say, see, you see, he, he'll he set you up. He'll betray you. He'll do all these things to you in the 3D. And then your spirit, he'll take it with him. He'll take it right along with him. People, save yourself and love yourself too. Uh, I want to take this moment to um, thank each and every one of you for uh, viewing this video and also for supporting this channel. I I really appreciate your support. And uh, I hope that what I say in these videos can really help somebody. And uh, I do wish all of you well. And I certainly hope to see you next time.